good Sunday afternoon folks. I haven't left one of these video postings on my blog for several years now. At least three years I think since uh, Bill passed on, uh, caring for him. I was inspired to leave this video blog because uh, uh, my uh, fellow blogger Erspo uh, just left a birthday greeting on his blog and I thought that was rather interesting so I thought you'd like to hear from me. Anyway, I'm um, broadcasting this from Casa Tipton Kelly. This is the smallest bedroom that I use in my home office. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to address today, it's not my birthday like it was Spoh's birthday, but uh, President Biden's presidential run. Okay. I'll put this as plainly as I can. Uncle Joe needs to drop out, period. I'm a year older than Joe Biden. Joe Biden can hardly speak, period. We need somebody who's running for president who can deliver a message, period. We need somebody who can respond to Trump's lies, period. Joe Biden is too old. Period. I keep hate to keep saying period. I walk like Joe Biden do. I walk like an old man. Well, I am an old man. I'm 83 years old. But I can speak better than he can. I can respond to lies like Trump spews out than Biden does. I'm very disappointed in Joe Biden because I think he had his, excuse the expression, his head up his ass. He's living in a bubble surrounded by his uh, advisors and everything thinks he's the only person in this country of over 330 million people who could run against Trump. Period. Biden's time is over. Thank you, Joe, for your service for the past 50 years. You've had enough. You cannot perform. I don't want to see you one more time in the debate with Trump with your mouth hanging open like that. As Trump experienced lies. It's not just one bad night. Thank you for everything you've done. You've had a good presidency, in many respects an excellent presidency. But your time has come. Even Mitch McConnell knew when his time was up. So hang it up, Joe. Hang it up. Now the obvious person to run for president in the Democratic ticket is Kamala Harris. Not my first choice. I just don't think she has a gravitas. But that's the obvious choice. There's no way you're going to get out of not having Kamala Harris take Joe's place. And I believe she can win. She's a woman and she's black. There are people, a good friend of mine thinks there's no way a woman or a black woman can win. I disagree. Is she capable? Certainly she's capable. Cuts down on the giggles. Don't giggle so much. And uh, so that's my two cents in this presidential race. Biden, I, I just can't see him running. I can't see him running. He's in the fog. He's in the fog. We, we need some inspiration. We need to get the young voters out. We need some excitement in the presidential election. At least with Kamala, you have some excitement. You have fresh face. You have something new. You have somebody that can respond to Trump's lies. Big time without their mouth hanging open. Okay, so that's my two cents. I said a lot. I was going to type it out, but uh, I know there's a lot of people disagree with me. I disagree with you. A uh, very good friend of mine thinks Biden would be sh Democrats would shoot themselves in the foot. I don't agree. Biden is just too old. Drop out, Joe. The Titanic hit the iceberg. It's sinking. Stop playing with the band. Drop out. Okay, I hope you all have a good day. And I hope Biden finally wakes up and gets his head out of his ass and realizes his time is over. Okay. All right.